Okay, so I have seen your requirement uh, on Upwork. So uh, you have built a way, uh, week's website, right, uh, for consultation, I guess. So yeah. here uh, you would like to display two languages at a time and different currencies as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing first, uh, you need a uh, wireframe or UA design in Figma, and then we need to convert it in Wix after that, correct? Yeah, I think like this is the right approach for like making everything clear before we start working on on uh, on the design on Wix because I had some experience before where like when we worked with uh, website developers without having the design or the wireframe um, uh, set in stones uh, beforehand, it did uh, cost us some serious time and money in order to like finish the work. Yeah, uh, I know the struggle. So yeah, uh, we have a UI designer who built the UI before we go start the client's project. So let me show you some examples. Just keep yeah, going. sure. Okay, so uh, this is one of the projects we're working on right now. And we have more to show. Okay, hold on. Okay, so uh, this is our approach. First, we build the web a uh, whole, whole new UI in the on Figma, and after client's confirmation, then we uh, build the whole thing in Wix. All right, so uh, the whole the same thing will go for uh for you as well. So if you have your uh, content ready for the page or how many pages you want, you can let me know later on. So then we can get started uh designing the wireframe on Figma, or if you don't have any content right now, we can get started with the dummy contents. Well, actually, I don't have any content right now. The idea of, of having a website was on the back of my mind for some time. I work as a business coach, but uh, yeah. most of my work were coming from like uh, my circles and people who, who I know. But I didn't set up social media or work online before. So that's why I, I, I had this idea of having a website on Wix. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. No problem. So, okay. So if you can send us some reference website, I guess that'll be better for me to have, have an idea how the website will look like. Well, I did see some websites that I did like. Let me send it in the chat in here. Okay, sure. And I do have uh, branding. Like I have... Uh, Okay, uh, okay, so it's on the Zoom chat. All right. Yeah, so something just like this, not exactly like it, but uh, along, uh, like along these, um, let's say, uh, vibes and feels yeah okay so have you got any color preferences for the website yeah i can send you in the chat um, uh, the branding guide mm -hmm. it's not a full branding guide but it's something that you can work with i'll also send you a sample samples from uh, one of my workshops mm -hmm. so you can see how i i use the branding guide yeah, sure. I guess that would help. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so how many pages will be there on the website for now? For now, there is the home page mm -hmm. and about page. Yeah. And I don't know if, if a checkout page does count or not. Okay. Um, so, oh, so people can uh, book a consultation, right? Write your email, correct? Uh, 
they can book a consultation and and what i didn't i okay, didn't get so that. The, uh, the, the thing is we can do it in a uh, to um, in two different ways the first thing is we can build a form so people can just uh, contact the form and they will have a link uh, through their email later on through uh they can have a zoom meeting link or they can have a calendar link whatever they want so we can set that set that up through weeks we have that option or we can the second thing is we can uh book a consultation using a product so we can set up a product and give it a price and they can set up a consultation like a product so if they purchase a product you get a notification yeah this guy consult up uh, uh, book a consultation from there on we can just proceed yeah it will be it, it will be a product of course it's not it's not a, a free consultation they have to pay and choose what time and and day they would like according to my schedule of course mm -hmm. and then they will get an email in which uh it will have a google meet not a zoom link mm -hmm. uh, and then at the, at the consultation time i will join and do the consultation okay got it yeah that can be done okay the next thing uh, okay the next thing is uh your website will have some, uh, two different cur uh, currencies also two display uh two different languages as well so um the, so the first thing is uh, english right and the second one is Okay, can you explain? Is uh, it's Arabic actually, okay, Arabic. and I don't know if you have experience with Arabic, but it's uh, a tricky um, language because it's uh, right to left language, right to left not right. left yeah, to right. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we have worked with uh, some of the website on um, Mars language website, which was in Arabic before. Okay, no problem with that. We can do that. But the uh, main thing uh, I can assure you, the visitor, uh, depending on the visitor IP, I guess. Wix doesn't have that option to change the uh change the languages depending on the current IP of the client or the user. Well, the languages won't be changed by the IP, but uh it's yeah, the they currencies. can change it uh, manually. All right. Yeah, yeah. They can change the language manually, but the currencies uh should be automatic. Currencies should be automatic. Okay, so I have to uh, look at that. I can assure you that right now, but I can uh, maybe I can later let you know if that works or not. All right, on Wix. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so okay, so the first thing first. Uh, so we will have a lot two uh, different languages as well. We have two different currencies as well. Okay, then we have like uh, two to three pages in the website. That's it. Um, let me see a home page and about page. Um. Let's say a page for um, consultations mm -hmm. and a page for the workshops. Okay. And yeah, I guess um, I guess that's it. And a form, a form for um, a free workshop. I have a free workshop that I use as a lead magnet. Mm -hmm. So I want to incorporate that into the website in a way that um, it's visible for anyone who gets sent to the website. I don't know what's the the, 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 the best approach that I will use. I don't know if it should be a pop-up on when, when someone uh, enters the website for the first time or should it be a button in the nav bar or should it have a, sec a whole section in the homepage so I didn't settle on this yet, but it's a feature that I want to to have in the website. Yeah, we can uh, do it both. So we can set up a uh, button on Navbar as well. So get get a free workshop or get a book of free workshop, whatever it is. And then we also can have a pop up as well. So when somebody is the website, a uh, pop up will appear. Uh, download the uh, get the free workshop, whatever it is. We can mm -hmm. do a form. And you can just get the user details in your email, and also they will have a, a workshop in their email as well okay okay that's great okay uh so anything else apart from these requirements uh no i i don't think so maybe the pages can can be uh, more or less because i didn't think it through i was hoping to work on the wire wireframe with uh with the one that i will hire for this project but yeah i think that's all okay all right. So the first, the first thing is you can send me the brand guidelines on Upwork. All right. So uh, I can uh, send it to my designer so they can start working on that. 
as well. And also, uh, for now, we can get started with the stock images. Is that okay with you? Uh, start with what? Uh, stock images. Stock images. Yeah, for now, sure, we can start with stock images, uh, lorem ipsum uh, uh, content. That's that's fine. Okay. So, uh, okay, I guess that'll be better if you send me some uh, idea how many sections will be there in the home page. Because uh, I can just uh, put all the lorem ipsum on the home page uh, and create like 10 to uh, 15 sections like that, right? We don't uh, need many. So, uh, so it'd be better if you just let me know how many sections you want. What are the topics? You can just uh, at least you can send me the headlines as well. I guess that would be better. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, actually, um, I, I will be honest with you. I'm still in the screening, uh, like phase right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to start on anything yet because okay. I don't want to waste your time. Sure, but. Uh, so far, you're one of the most professional uh, guys that I met in this project. Uh, mm -hmm. You like, I know that you like looking at you. You have steps preset in your mind, so that's something that's uh, uh, assuring me that the work will be done and fast and efficient. So that's one one thing that I wanted to say. Yeah, I hope that. So okay. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, so you can just uh, let me know, okay? So we can send me the brand guidelines, so we can have uh, like, uh, yeah, we can get started as soon as uh, from you. Uh, there's a confirmation from your end. Yeah, sure. I will send you some samples in the chat, so you can download. Before for uh, for we... now, let me take the dribble as a reference website, reference design. This one. And yeah, this of one. course. These in here. Yeah. These are some of the samples. Mm -hmm. Okay. On how I usually use the, um, the branding guide. Okay, I will also send you this one and this one. Okay, so the website is a mix color of like orange, a red, orange, and like blue. Yeah, that's yes. A good choice of color. Okay, yeah, we can go mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, that's a good choice of colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll also send these three also. Yeah, so. So it's like Abu. That's how I. I don't know if I pronounce it right or not. Yes. It's Abul Khair, yeah. It that ha huh? is is uh, a letter in Arabic. So I don't I don't I don't uh, find people of other countries able to pronounce the, that letter because it's native to the Arabic lang language. Yeah, we are Muslims, so we, so we know how how we should pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So that's a logo we can use for the website right now, correct? Yeah. One. Okay, uh, it would be better if you send me the font name as well. I guess that's there. The font, the font, uh, it's in uh, the brand guideline. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I got it. I use the RACAS uh, for headlines for, um, yeah, you mostly headlines or, or things that I want to emphasize place emphasis on and uh, other other font is for for content usually okay so all right yeah we can get started with those mm -hmm. okay yeah so yeah that's all from my end so okay so let's uh, talk about the price as well so so if we go for like uh four pages maybe we can exit to one uh more more, more like five pages and with allowing the ui design also along with the design of the whole, whole development in Wix, the, to the total cost will stand like $300 and it will take up to like a uh, minimum 10 days. Mm. So within like okay. 10 days, the whole work will be done. Well, 
I wasn't planning on spending that much. That's almost uh, twice the budget that I initially placed for this project. Okay. Mm. So, uh, okay. So uh, you can obviously negotiate. So, uh, so apart from your budget, actual budget, I guess you should to increase a little bit from there on, because uh, we are about to design like uh four to five pages. Basically, for for a single page or like two, two pages, I usually charge out two fifty dollars for my clients. Mm. Okay, so, so yeah, so it would be better if you increase the budget a bit. Well, how about um two hundred? How about two hundred? Oh, okay, I'm not sure about that. So let me just uh, talk with the teammates on the prices. Then I will just come back to you and let you know on Upwork. Okay. Is that okay? With you? Yeah, sure. No All right, sounds great. Okay. So, okay, let me just uh, confirm the whole thing with you in Upwork. Then we can get started with the work. Oh, All right. That's great. Thank you. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you for your time.